and 14 on your Thursday morning, and the most common questions we've been receiving into our iTeam hotline are from tenants who need help with some kind of dispute with their landlord. Yeah, so many people are asking for assistance here. They usually involve pests, maybe maintenance problems. It's why we have partnered with Jacksonville Area Legal Aid to help you get free legal advice this morning. Jennifer Waugh joining us live from our phone bank. Jen, I know that you take so many calls and emails about this, and this is the subject of your story. People just want to live in a safe and healthy place. Yeah, and it, honestly, everyone deserves that, regardless of, of, you know, how much money you may be having your bank account. And, and, and you know, we all get these calls to the I-Team, certainly, and all three of us, in fact. So, uh, as you can hear, the phones are ringing behind me. The number to dial if you would like free legal advice related to tenant issues that you may have or landlord issues, the number's at the bottom of your screen. In the meantime, I'd like to bring into the conversation a local attorney, James Tyre, who's been answering some of these calls. And, James, I'd like to pick up on my conversation that we had last hour specifically about about pest control. It, it was the subject of, of my I-Team story that aired about two hours ago. And, and we addressed apartment communities, but what about people who are renting and live in a townhome or in a house? Who is responsible for pest control? Are they or the landlord? Sure, well, it depends. The first thing I would say is that the obligations under Florida law for renters that live in duplexes or single family homes are different from the obligations and the rights of tenants in uh, multifamily units or apartment complexes. So under Florida law, typically the default Fault responsibility for pest control is on the tenant. However, I would make sure that a tenant check their lease agreement because their lease agreement may modify that or may say otherwise, in which case, if the lease agreement says that the landlord's responsible, they would be them. Yeah, so it's important to read that and, and maybe sure. negotiate adding in the language that's necessary for it. Absolutely. Let's talk about maintenance issues. I know that you've received a lot of that. We do get a lot of feedback from people. Hey, I've had this hole in my wall from repairs. It still hasn't been fixed. Right. What should a tenant do to try to get that fixed if they feel like like their landlord or property manager is ignoring them? I think obviously the first thing to do is try to work with the property amicably. Um, whatever the lease says as far as doing maintenance requests, follow that. Uh, it, this works in any situation. Whatever the lease says, the tenant should be fully aware of and make sure they follow those procedures. There's usually a procedure in terms of making maintenance requests. Follow that procedure, make sure it's well documented, make sure you have everything in writing. Uh, any kind of requests that you make, they're either in writing or they're somewhere on a portal or something like that for any requests. Um, if that doesn't work, depending on the severity of the maintenance issue, they could call the city of Jacksonville, request a code inspector, inspect the property. Uh, if the code inspector determines that there's some sort of violation of a city code of ordinance, um, then in that case, the, they'd cite the property and it may make it easier to have the tenant uh, have those issues resolved. And do you find that generally then the property manage manager or the landlord is encouraged then to make those repairs or pest control fixes because they get fined and those fines don't go away? No, they don't like paying the fines, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely an encouragement. The only thing I would caution uh, is sometimes the landlord may retaliate against the tenant for making those sort of uh, uh, code requests. Um, tenants are protected under Florida law against that retaliation. If a landlord tries to file an eviction action or tries to terminate a lease because they complain to code enforcement uh, for, for any kind of serious issues, they're protected under Florida law. Yeah, that's such an important point. Should a tenant, if they feel like they're not getting help with pest control or with maintenance, should they stop paying the rent? No, absolutely not. So under Florida law, and this is something that a lot of people get tripped up on, under Florida law, there's a specific provision of the statute they have to follow in order to entitle them to withhold rent. They can, depending on the severity of the issues. If it's very severe, they can withhold rent. But really, they should reach out to our office, set an appointment with our clinic. We have attorneys that, that volunteer their time to assist people in drafting these sort of letters and, and these notices they're required to serve. And if they go through all those procedures correctly, then they may, in fact, be entitled to withhold rent. But they should never withhold unless they go through those specific procedures. Yeah, that's such an important point because they could end up being evicted. Of course, there's a moratorium right now and that expires at the end of June. Thank you, James, for your time this morning. I really appreciate it. We want to remind you that the attorneys are here from Jacksonville Area Legal Aid. The phones are ringing. I know James is going to run back and try to answer those as well. So please call the numbers on the bottom of your screen. And of course, for more information about the free services provided by Jack's Area Legal Aid, you can find that information on our website. Jen, quick question, before, not really a question, but as you mentioned, all three of us really take these emails, calls all the yeah. time. Something he said that really stuck with me, and we're not lawyers, but that document, 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 
everything. I know it, it makes our job so much easier when we walk in. Absolutely, because then we can go to the property manager or the landlord and say, hey, this this tenant sent this email or sent this text message, because it can even be text message, and notified you weeks ago. Here it is right here. We've got it in hand. Why haven't you done something about it? It helps us tremend tremendously hold those people responsible, and when it comes to a court of law, can help the tenant as well. Jen Wall, thank you so much again. Great job with your story. And, and I, at this point, I'm like, Jen, go get on the phones because they're ringing off the hook. <laughs> we all need to pitch in <laughs> answering those phones. We heard them the whole time. Thank you, Jen.